Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Decades Challenge. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Betsy is officially in labor, and I am so excited. This pregnancy has gone so well for her. She hasn't had any problems during this pregnancy at all. It's been absolutely amazing. So I am very, very proud of her. I don't know if anybody else is having this problem, but the cuddle in bed interaction is not working for me no matter what I do. So if you guys know what could be causing that or, um, you know, a way to fix it, that would be amazing. I would love to know. Look at Betsy's belly. I can't. She has the cutest pregnant belly. Hang on. So we actually, we're going to go ahead and start our home birth. All right. So now that we have started our home birth, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to have her change her outfit because I just want to show you guys some of the new outfits she has. So, um, we actually have this outfit and this outfit. I downloaded some 1920s themed outfits or 1920s styled outfits, I guess. Um, so I'm going to change her into one of those. We're going to have her mop up the, the puddle that she just got all over the floor from her water breaking. So <laughs> love that. Oh, Betsy, sweetheart. She's so beautiful, though. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and have her take a little bit of a walk because I think it might help sort of speed up dilation. Um, and I want her kind of up and moving before her contractions get so bad that she feels like she doesn't even want to uh, move. So she's just kind of walking around outside. It's nice and warm outside, even though it's like one o'clock in the morning. It's still nice and warm outside. Absolutely beautiful. And Olivette is awake upstairs. So we're going to have her come down and clean out the spoiled food and empty dishes. We'll have her grab some leftovers. Um, and I've just kind of been working on some of Olivette's skills. So she actually has cooking level three now. She has piano level four and charisma level two and then logic level two. I think those are the only ones that have changed. Um, but she actually has been running this little food stand out here called Danforth's Delectables. And she's been just kind of cooking up some food and making a little bit of money on the side. And she seems to really be enjoying that. So now that Betsy has gone for a little bit of a walk, she's going to come in and use the bathroom and then she's just going to hop in the bubble bath because I think right now her contractions are starting to sort of, uh, sort of get a little worse and they're starting to hurt pretty badly but she has some first time jitters she's a little bit nervous you know about this being her first official labor and after you know the uh her first pregnancy ending uh the way that it did all of that really really that's your own fault that's your own fault because you didn't have to walk in here like that there's another bathroom upstairs you can come go to the bathroom upstairs that's a possibility. So, oh no, she might be experiencing stalled labor. Keep monitoring the situation. And if it doesn't improve, she might need an emergency C-section. Oh my gosh, no. I'm really hoping after everything, this pregnancy has gone so well and I just don't want it to end badly for her. Okay, I went ahead and reset her because she was having some issues, but can we have her just come and do a little bit of a breathing exercise okay she's finally ready to have the baby oh my gosh this is so exciting she's going to get henry and she's like hey um i feel like it, it it's time like there's something there's something going on we we definitely need a we definitely need to get in here because there's some uh there's something happening so oh my gosh i am so excited for betsy and henry oh my gosh the baby is here and it is a little girl and i am so excited to see what she looks like when she ages up into an infant i want to know if she gets betsy's red hair um so we are going to call this little girl anna 
I thought that was such a sweet name. I thought it was very, um, I thought it was very, very cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that sweet little babe. Oh, let daddy hold the baby for the first time. Oh my goodness. They are too freaking cute, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change Betsy uh, back into the outfit that I originally had her in. Now, where did our... Where's... Oh my gosh. Not this again. Not this again. This is just ridiculous okay let's go ahead and save we'll um we'll go to manage worlds come back in and that should fix our problem uh but we have some rolls to do all right you guys so we are going to roll for betsy first and then we're going to roll for anna so betsy got a three and anna got a 10 so let's go look um newborn 10 is safe and betsy is a teen she got a three she is safe so that's fantastic okay we have fixed the problem so i'm gonna have her go in and change anna's outfit really quick let's put her in Maybe we'll put her in this cute little daisies one. Ooh, no, let's do starshine. That one's really cute. Oh my goodness, how adorable is she? So we have her set to use cloth diapers, and then we're going to choose her uh, feeding preference as breastfeeding. So perfect. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. Okay, so now that we know that both of them are safe, we need to uh, change Betsy's last name from Danforth to Holman. Okay. And then we need to change Anna's last name because I spelled her last name wrong. And baby Anna was born in the year 19... Hang on. 1921. All right, we have baby Anna's photo updated and we need to mark that she is a female. Perfect. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to uh, figure out how long she's going to be a newborn. So I want to say she, yeah, two days. So one, two. So she's going to age up the same day as Eden and all is well with the world. I don't know that I want to rush uh, Betsy and Henry having another baby. I think I just kind of want to enjoy this time with baby Anna and um, sort of slow things down a little bit. Betsy is being so cute in here, just loving on her baby. Brutally dance. No. <laughs> what is going on? Can you just come in here and love on your baby a little bit? Just talk to the baby. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a freaking second. Hearts just came over their freaking heads. Are you kidding me? You two are not. Y'all. Okay, it doesn't say there's anything in their romance bar, so I don't know what that was about, but look at she's flirty. Why is she flirting with him? I'm gonna scream. What is going on? Stop it. Why are why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Do I have is the free love thing on? Vote on neighborhood action plans. I'm not gonna actually have her vote. I just need to see. Green gardening, promote creative arts, support performing arts, rock your body and mind. No, free love is not even active. So she's just doing this because she's a harlot. What is going on? School for her starts in about an hour. Olivette. Henry has a major crush on Olivette? What? You... First of all, you go in here and go to the bathroom. You just had a child, sir. You just had a child. And all of that and Betsy just became good friends. You're cousins. You do realize that. I mean, yeah, you're cousins. You're flirting with your cousin's man. You're living in her house. 
Y'all, I am so flabbergasted. It, you, go outside of the house. I'm upset with you. Your parents raised you better. Oh, no. And now she's got... We're sending her alone. I'm, I don't even want to talk to you right now. Can we go in and breastfeed the baby? That Maybe that will make Betsy feel a little better because she was having a little bit of, you know, uncomfortable ness uh in her chest let's uh give her a little cuddle and then we're gonna come out and grab some leftovers henry why don't you come out and make yourself useful um by doing something other than flirting with my freaking cousin you jerk what in the actual heck you guys will have to let me know what you think about that. Should we just like pretend that that didn't happen? Should we roll with it and maybe, you know, add a little bit of drama to this LP? Maybe, uh, maybe Henry and Olivet have a little bit of an affair. Um, you know, maybe. I don't know. That just makes me feel icky though, because like in my mind, Betsy's like 17 and Olivet is like 14, 15. And Henry's probably, you know, 17, 18. So him, like, doing that, like, grosses me out, like, major. But it was Olivet that came on to him, though. But we also, again, but we also got a notification that said he had a major crush on Olivet. So, like, he played into it. And that's what... I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have Betsy come out and um, do a load of laundry. And we'll check back in with the fam bam after on uh, Wednesday, I think, when when we age up Eden and we age up Anna. Y'all, it's not Wednesday yet, but it is Tuesday at almost 8 a.m. And Betsy was in the shower until just a moment ago and her husband is out here macking on her cousin lord have mercy this man is testing all of my patience you guys he's flirted with her enough now that they have a little romance bar and it's not me doing it i swear to you they are doing this on their own and it's honestly it's driving me mad and then you know as soon as betsy comes in the room all of that's like Oh my gosh gotta go you know like it's just it's shady it is shady shady y'all and i i'm not here for it i feel like olivette's parents raised her better than this and i really feel like henry is taking advantage of a girl who is you know three maybe years younger than him she's probably 15 or so and um He's he's taking full advantage and it's gross. It wouldn't have been such a huge deal like the age gap, I guess. You know, maybe then maybe back then it wouldn't have been such a big deal. I don't know. If you guys know, I would love to hear your opinion on it. But like for me, when I think about it, there's just so there's so much of a maturity difference between a 15 year old and an 18 year old you know what i mean and i just it just it rubs me the wrong way a little bit y'all so i'm not sure what to do i don't know i i really need you guys' opinions and i'm hoping that i can keep those two away from each other until uh, next episode after I've heard from you guys because I just don't know what to do. All right, y'all. It is officially Wednesday, so I am going to have Betsy go ahead and age up little Anna, and then she's going to go in and use the restroom really quick. Um, Betsy and Henry have not woohooed again yet, so um, they haven't... Uh, there's no chance that Betsy could be pregnant or anything, but it does look like Anna got Betsy's hair. She got the snuggly trait. Oh my goodness. Look at this sweet little bean. Oh my gosh. Should we give her a little birthmark? The little heart-shaped birthmark? Should we do it? 
I love it. I think it's so cute. We're going to go ahead and leave it like that. And then you guys let me know what you think. If you want me to remove it, I will. But I just think it looks so cute on her. Oh my freaking goodness. I can't. All right. Let me see what kind of outfits I have for our beanie baby. Um, oh, this would look so cute on her. Okay. All right, now that we have Miss Anna's makeover completed, Betsy is taking her upstairs to put her to bed because it is midnight and she should be sleeping. So we're going to go ahead and lay her down. Oh my gosh, she is just too cute. She looks so much, wait, why does she look so much like Betsy did when Betsy was her age? Wait a second. Wait a frick fracking second, friends. Stop. She's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I am absolutely just obsessed with this child. I'm absolutely obsessed. Okay, we need to roll for her and pray. Uh, <laughs> pray that the dice is on our side today because I don't know if I could handle it. Infant. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. She is going to be an infant for four days. Okay. Now that that is finished, we need to jump over to Mildred's house and age up little Eden. And then once we finish with that, I think we're going to go ahead and call this episode there. So I just realized that Oliver is still a toddler and he should not be still a toddler um i'm not sure why he's still oh my gosh <gasps> mildred's pregnant oh my goodness okay now that we've aged up oliver we are going to give him okay he got the gloomy trait all right that's fine so let's see if he survives his age up he rolled a five he is a child he did survive his age up so let's figure out he's gonna be a child for 12 days so he should have aged up here so one two three four all right so oliver oliver will age up into a teen in 1924 and then we need to go ahead and help blow out candles for Eden. All right, Eden aged up and she got the unappeasable trait. These Sims uh, find it hard to be satisfied. They are often bored and need more sources of excitement. So she is the opposite of excitable. Okay. Oh my gosh, Eden looks just like Mildred. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to roll here for her. She got an 11. And I believe that makes her safe as well. It does. Um, so let's, she's going to be a child for 12 days. Oh my gosh. And Mildred is in labor. Okay. Well, I guess we are not ending the episode there. Um, we're going to have Mildred come up and go ahead and just have the baby the old fashioned way. We're not going to go through the whole process because Mildred is not our heir. So I'm not really worried about it. But she is having a baby. <gasps> it's a boy. It's a boy. Okay, what are we going to call him? Let's call him. Let's call him Kenneth. Little Kenneth. Oh, how sweet. Hello, baby Kenneth. We have some paperwork to do. So let's see. So uh, Kenneth was also born this day. And so Kenneth will age up here. Um, so let's go add these guys to the family tree. So. We need to go back up to Jack's generation and we need to find Mildred and Pierce. There we go. So we need to add a child with Pierce and this is a male child and his name is Kenneth and he was born in 1921, I believe. Oh no. Wait, yeah. No, 1922, Kenneth was born in 1922. Okay. All right. So now the family tree is completed. This is our whole family tree right now. Oh my goodness. I cannot. 
This is just awesome. I think this is so cool to have a family tree this large. I normally never have family trees like this. I the longest I've ever played was I think 12 generations and I lost that save file a long time ago and I've never been able to get past like generation three ever since. So the fact that we're on generation three and I am not bored of this family. I love them and I see no signs of slowing down. I think it's so cool. So I don't know. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and call this episode here. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out. If y'all are new to the channel, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what y'all think about <laughs> Henry and Olivet and whatever the heck is going on there because I am a little bit weirded out, guys. Honestly, I'm a little bit weirded out. And I just I don't know, y'all. I don't know what to think about it. It's freaking me out a little bit. But okay, I will see you all later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I love you all so much. Bye.